Um, second. Yes, sir. And the question is for Jason first. And the question is, what have you seen as the biggest roadblock to progress within the fiscal court? And if elected, how do you plan to address this problem? Well, I have a lot of ideals that I wanted, the things I want for Ohio County, but now this question has kind of got me, it's taking me back. And I, I'm going to go back to, it's going to be communication. You know, uh, the problems we have is communication. And, and, and I'll give us all a little bit of fault with that, that you've got to communicate and, uh, and, work, and work together. And then if you can't communicate, you're, gonna not, you're not going to be able to address a problem. So um, it goes back to working with each other. Uh, and like I said, we need to go back to that because we've got more important things to do than addressing problems on who's right and who's wrong. We've got, uh, you know, we've got people needing jobs. We're working on, uh, you know, our infrastructure is, is set. We need, we're working with our kids right now. That's the most important thing we do. And we're sitting there bickering back and forth on who's right and who's wrong. And two or three court meetings, we can't let something die or drop. We're hurting ourselves. So like I said, it goes back to whoever's on the court We've got to work together because we've got more important things to do than worry about who was right last week and who was wrong the week before last. It's over. Move on. We serve Ohio County, and that's what I'm going to stick to. Um, as your magistrate, if I'm elected again, hopefully, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to court. I'm going to vote. And when it's done, I'm not going to hold it. But I'm going to go on, and I'm going to start looking for what's the next thing we need in Ohio County to promote Ohio County because that's what we're here to do. Thank you. somebody that hasn't been on the fiscal court and but what I have seen is that they bicker back and forth and a lot of times it comes from the audience they all they seem to want to run the court down uh, and say that well why do you want this or why you're doing that or, why are you spending the money there and whatever but I think the court has to work together and go on and overlook these things and create uh, a balance between them and then maybe uh, they can work things out and get uh, get things going. Okay, same question to, to you guys and yes, Jason here first. Um, what have you seen as the biggest roadblock to progress within the fiscal court? And if elected, how do you plan to address this problem? Well, I agree with Larry. Uh, that's loud. Maybe I should leave it over there. Uh, I've been going to physical court meetings since, I guess, about December. Uh, so before that, I could not tell you what goes on, but you can tell it's an election year. I'll leave it at that. Uh, it seems like we keep beating the same dead horse. The horse is dead. Uh, and it goes, it's not only these guys. I'm not picking on anybody. It's the audience. It's it's the whole atmosphere um, you know I'm like Jason vote on something let it go you're done with it uh, you might remind somebody next time hey you know uh, that's you know can you help me out I'm not saying that but you can't keep bickering and arguing back and forth about the same old thing and I feel that's what's happening since December. Before that, I don't know. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I haven't been to the last three or four meetings, been out campaigning. I have called them on the radio. Uh, but I'm sure it hasn't changed. 
uh, y'all should go sometime if any of y'all have not been. I encourage you. Not, I'm not trying to be funny. I encourage everybody to go. Uh, I wish more people would attend. But it seems like the only time that there's anybody there is if something's going to be voted on that's pretty heavy that night, then you'll have a, a pretty good turnout for that particular issue. But I encourage all of you to go. I can work with anybody. Uh, leave it at the door. When it's over, it's over. And forget about it. Thank you. I'm going to go back to what I said earlier. I believe the, uh, the problem is, is is not taking the time to listen to everybody. You know, I know that takes more time, but hear everybody out fully, what their idea is, and uh, what their plans are. And, and just take the time to listen before you move on to what your plan is, because I'm going to tell you the first thing, when an issue's come up, I'm going to start bouncing ideas. And by the time it's all said and done, I'm hoping that it wasn't one person's idea that we went with. We took time to combine everybody's ideas. That's how you learn, and uh, that's how you make uh, compromises for everybody in the county. It's the best way for the county to keep the county in mind. We're, we've got five different districts representing different districts. If we went with one person's idea, we're not keeping the county in mind. I mean, that's just the the bottom of the line there. Just take time to listen to everybody and you know maybe the meetings will go a little longer and uh, and just like Jason said I'd like to see more people come to the county meetings. I've been going over a year now and there's not a big turnout. I don't know if having it a little later would make it better. I know it's at five and a lot of times people's not getting off until five. So maybe that would be an issue I think getting the citizens in the, in the county more involved with what's going on in the physical court would be the best thing we can do. Keep them informed too. But anyway, that's all I got to say about it. <laughs> okay, and this next question is probably my favorite question. Even though I'm not supposed to be biased, I guess it's gonna be biased about what question it is, right? Did you ask it? Actually I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't even come up with this one. Okay, David, you will be the first one to answer this question. In thinking of the future of Ohio County, what legacy would you like to leave after your time in office? I think it's getting the most things done, and that's what we strive to do. Uh, I think that would be it, is to say, hey, that's the administration that got the most accomplished for the county. Uh, and of course, uh, my uh, slogan is that I have a vision for progress in Ohio County. We'll see that progress continue. Uh, I think you've seen a lot in the last four years. I believe we've, we've done a tremendous amount of things in this period of time. And uh, I want to just uh, keep showing progress and to say that, uh, that uh, left the uh, county in better shape financially than it's ever been in its life. And I, I truly believe that's the case now, uh, and to continue that. And I think that would be the legacy, would be that, hey, we made a difference, and uh, made Ohio County progress, and made Ohio County just a little bit better place to live, even though it's already the best place on the face of the earth, make it even a little bit better. Thank you. Well, sometimes the full effect of things don't take place until many years later. So maybe not looking for the legacy of to get all the glory and the flame, fame, but we have to be very mindful of the things we do today that someone must pay for them in the future. So my philosophy is not to spend all the money we can today and get accomplishments that we have to pay for in future generations. Uh, my philosophy would be to strengthen our workforce, which would in turn strengthen our tax base, and uh, to have more people pay a lesser amount of taxes than to look up someday in time. As we all know, the cold severance money comes and goes, and, and to realize that the person sitting in office six or eight years from now may be that person that gets this bad legacy of having to 
either cut a service or raise a tax. So I don't feel that, that a legacy should be to, to create or purchase or, or spend the most money. I feel like there's a legacy of planning for the future. Thank you.